A lot of brands have made 60 watt cob lights for video and photography purposes. In this video, we will take a look at the Juins Moles G60s, probably the smallest 60 watt bicolor lights on the market. Let's get into it. If we haven't met yet, my name is Mikus, I'm a filmmaker and on this channel I'm sharing tips and tricks for fellow content creators, as well as my thoughts on uh, filmmaking gear. And I'm excited to show you the Molus G60s today. So let's do a quick review. I've had my hands on these lights for a while now, then tested them in different situations. And the impression is great. Let's break down the features, design, the price and everything you need to know. The first thing to notice is how small the Juin Molus G60 is. When it comes to 60 watt lights, I've owned a few, starting with Godox SL60W. And if we put Molus G60 next to it, it is just ridiculous how small it is. Actually, we could put G60 in a case with the DC power adapter and accessories and it still wouldn't take up as much space. Usually to bring a couple of lights to a location, I would have to carry a lot of bags and it wouldn't be possible to pick everything in one go. But this makes it super handy. And when it comes to light modifiers such as uh, the soft boxes, Juin has designed its own mount ecosystem, the ZY mount, along with a couple of mini modifiers like this mini soft box. But you might be wondering, wouldn't it be much easier to stick with the Bowens mount since a lot of creators have the Bowens mount accessories already? Yes and no. The ZY mount is much much smaller and that opens the possibility for the G60 to be so small as it is. Well, probably that's more like the other way around. They created the light that small and then designed the small mount for it. Well, you get the idea. You still can use the Bowens mount accessories uh, with the Molus G60. Well, that is if you get the combo kit, which comes with the Bowens mount adapter. The Molus G60 does not have an inbuilt battery, but there are two ways to power the light. You can use a DC power adapter or use a PD fast charge type C power supply. PD fast charge supports a minimum power input of 18 watts and a maximum of 100 watts and the current power input will be indicated on the screen. I have also tried to power the Molus G60 with a power bank. Well, is this still called a power bank? Well, a huge power bank with 30 and 100 watt output options. Not only can you forget about cables being in the way, you could also be more flexible in where and how you use the light, because this solution opens whole new possibilities, like for example, to use the light outdoors. Speaking of power, you know what would be really powerful? To smash that like button if you feel like this video deserves it. As mentioned before, this is a 60 watt cob light and you get a 60 watt output. And in a lot of cases, 60 watt lights have been enough for me when creating product commercials, interviews and YouTube videos. Since this light is by color, the color temperature can be changed from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin, which means it is designed so you could have the control of the light and could adjust the temperature from a more yellowish to a bluish light. I prefer bicolor lights because they are a versatile option for indoor and outdoor shoots and it helps a lot to create different moods. You can change the brightness by dialing this knob here and uh, jump between presets by pressing it. Which is pretty cool to select a specific value much faster. As for the color temperature control, it works exactly the same. You can either turn the knob or press it to change the value. Now about controlling the light. Along with the release of Molus uh, G60 and Molus X100, Juin has released an app so you could control the lights through Bluetooth. The app is called Zvi Vega and with this app you can change the brightness and the color temperature. And what is also cool that you can control several lights at the same time. For example, if you have two G60s like I do, then you can change the settings simultaneously. As of recording this video, you don't have any effects available to imitate different kinds of flickers with the G60. For example, welding, TV, light bulb, fire and such. But I really do hope that it will be added for the G60 in the future. 
with a firmware update. The fan noise of the Modus G60 is barely noticeable and that's running it on full power. And so far this is the most silent light I have used. Till now my go-to top 60 watt light was the Nanlite Force 60B. And I think it had one of the best fan performances when it comes to fan noise. But the Molus G60 knocks it out of the park. Since these two lights have a lot in common, I will do a comparison video, so you might want to subscribe and click the notification bell to know when it comes out. When it comes to the price of the Molus G60, I think it has really good value for the cost and could be considered budget friendly. The standard kit comes under $200, but I would advise you to look at the combo kit. That comes with the Juin Mini softbox with the ZY mount. That way you will have a super small light modifier, making the kit compact and easy to carry. As of now, the combo kit is $249 US dollars. As for the places to pick those up, or to find out more, I have added links into the description for you. The Juin Molus G60 was released at the same time as Molus X100, which is a 100 watts compact bicolored cob light equipped with a battery and a lot of more features to talk about. And I use the Molus X100 lights for indoor and outdoor video projects and also to light this YouTube setup right now. So there is a video on the way and you might want to keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.